What's up? I'm Via. And I'm Nayel. And we're, and we're in drama. drama. We're from Chicago. We're here in LA at the Red Bull Mystery Pack Studio. And they gave us 10 sounds to make a hot ass track. So get ready. Let's check out this mystery pack. What do we got? Let's try these sounds. All right, man, they gave us a bunch of interesting sounds. Interesting sounds. <clears throat> it's like a bird whistling. That's dope. The waves, we love waves. Definitely love the waves. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know about that oh. one. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is the one. Yeah. Very Cinderella-y. Yeah. That could be like a transition sound. Yeah. That's cool. One, one note. One mm. note. Wow. A gong. We can Mulan. Always use <laughs> that was so Mushu from Mulan. Okay. We're dope. Took the yeah. best sound in here. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I mean, yeah? between the chords and the waves and the bass. Word. Yeah. Well, let's get it. Here we go. Well, let's get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna loop this one. Oh yeah, the the chords. True. So I'm gonna bring this, uh, bring it down just a little bit. True. You think it more like dancey or like? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm adding, so I have this synth part right here. Like my process is pretty much just, just trying to find what, what I can do differently, obviously with this. I try to make it as, as unique as I can without making it too crazy. Like this is kind of dope. Is it simple? True. So I'm trying to find a good kick. Yeah. And so for my drums, the first thing I go to is battery right away. Battery first, and then I start to layer after that. So just get the like initial sounds first, and then you begin to layer and build up your sound. The one-on-one -on -one time with Nile Shahadi. So I use this thing called Serato Sample as well. I used to use an MPC, so this is like my way of still using the MPC, kind of with you know, importing it, chopping it up where where you need assigning it to different keys. Serato's, that, that's the DJ app, right? That's the DJ app, yeah. I mean, this is part of Cubase, obviously, but it's just the... Oh, I see what you mean. the GTR app and it gives you like these base presets. I like presets because I'm actually thought about this, like so sat someone, in a room and like, we're gonna create something. Dude, all I use is presets. But it's a good place just to start with, you know? Damn, Papi Chulo. So a crisscross will make you jump, jump. That droplet. <laughs> if you find a way to use that droplet, I'm gonna fucking scream. I will scream. I don't know where I'm gonna find it. <laughs> I wanna find a place for it. I'm gonna see if I can add some delay or something on here, just to kind of spice up this one. On which one? On this one right here. I gotta, the I gotta droplet? No, that's no. not the droplet. There's this thing called spread that I use. You add it. So it just makes the sound bigger. Like it makes it, it pans it out a little bit more. 
huge. If that makes any sense. But just to give it that like width. That's the sound. That's my favorite sound of the whole thing. So I'm just gonna just roll off a little bit of that. Lauren. True. Give it that party next door vibe. I'm just having the wave come in like as certain parts to kind of like just yeah, get like uh, filter it in and yeah, out. Yeah, something like that. That would be nice. And then, so like what I did is I also added a one knob filter. So like in dance music, obviously, this is this is the shit like. You got like this right here. No. Oh yeah. That Transition. vibe right there. That's the the dance transition go to. This is just an idea, but let's try it and see. I feel like it's a little mumbly, but it's gonna be hot. Tell me how you stand. Tell me how you move back then, back then. It's scary. Another stack? Yeah, just one, one more stack of okay. stack of Ruski, dude. Tell me how you stand. some like minimal delay and stuff and then just, just while yeah, you Yeah, definitely bring the delay back. Yeah. I hate recording with delay on. It's it is kind of weird. Tell me how you move how you play it down. Have the room is on fire kind of like repeat. I'm just gonna try this out and see if it works, but a phone line effect. A phone line effect? Dude, I love the telephone effect. I called 911. 911, what's your emergency? The room's on fire, police! And the fire department. I'm gonna add this GW voice centric. When the room is on fire, on fire. You should do it like, have, say it twice. When the room is So, so first one's regular. Second one's Second regular. One. Third one is on fire, on fire. Okay. Go through the so, sounds that we still have. So I got this one. Time flies when you're having. Ooh, I missed that one. So that one's gonna. It's like gonna make it. It's gonna when I right spin way. a dress, just like opens up, right? Like Cinderella. And then I got this one. Oh the yeah. Gong. The Mushu Gong. The Gong is gonna be a transition song. Hey man, I forgot about this sound. It's actually pretty dope. Oh yeah, the shaker. Yeah. So I can probably do something with that. Oh. And then I still have this one to use as well. This is why I'm not a producer. You guys like know. that sound? <laughs> How people hear these sounds. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this sound. This baseball bat, which I'm gonna insert into the percussion parts. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it actually uh, manually. manually. Actually just, just insert it. And then I'm gonna use this gong. As a as a transition, so it's just a teeny bit. And then I'm also gonna throw a pan man from Sound Toys on this. Because you're gonna have it pan through the speakers? I'm gonna just pan a little bit. Some, That's your shape. Light. Yeah, just get a little dynamics. Tell me how you stand. Okay. Yeah. Tell me how you move. It's crazy because 
because the gong, the ending frequency matches with the waves. With the waves. I was just gonna say that so how the gong like it's pretty dope. Leads into the waves. Yeah. That's sick. That's sick. That the baseball bat. That's what I'm talking about. So we have a couple sounds left. Right here, we have two sounds left, and two one sounds. of them is this harp. So it kind of moves a little, a little too slow for, for my taste. Really? But yeah. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back into Serato sample, and I'm gonna start it at a different point. And I'm gonna do move it right here. And I'm gonna speed it up a tad. So I'm gonna throw an effect on here. Piano centric. The places that I felt like it sounded the best were in the transition uh, phases. So. Yeah. Tell me how you stand. The slide whistle. I think that's the last one. Yeah, that one. Shout out to Splice for being amazing. Dude, I love Splice. Splice is dope, man. I've got like 50 songs on my computer of just Splice samples and me singing over a loop. Oh, yeah. That's so much. I use Splice. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me I'd actually maybe possibly slow this down. He turned them into one sound. sounds from the Red Bull Mystery Pack. Basically just goes to show you that you can create anything out of anything, no matter what it is, you know? We took a baseball, made it into some percussion sounds, and it, it actually worked, so. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, check us out, we're drama. And, and we love you. We love you, thank you so much.